How's it going, nephew? Ah, what you reading there? Just reading a book for school? Nah, school shut down. What's your aviation? I bet I could teach you a lot about aviation. Nah, yeah, I bet I could teach you some things you don't know, some things they don't want you to know. Right? You see, you ain't asking the right questions. They ain't teaching you the right things in school because they, they want to keep some things hush hush. But I, your old Uncle Jed, knows a thing or two. And he knows somebody or two that knows a thing or two. Let me teach you. No, sit, sit back down. Sit back down. Food ain't going to be ready for a while anyway. Sit back down. All right. So, you know when the planes are flying, you see those big, long, white trails in the sky look like clouds. Now, some people say what well, those actually are, are chemicals. The government going to spray chemicals in the air, try to suppress the population. Think about it. All right. Government goes spraying these in the air, and suddenly, people aren't having kids. Suddenly, people, behaviors change, and people get more violent. You know, you ever seen, you don't see as many around the cities. You see a lot out in the country, because the government don't want us folks having kids much. All right? Now, now listen. Back in 1996, all right, not, not long before y'all was born, Air Force releases this document about weather manipulation. They went up, they sprayed a bunch of chemicals in the air to try to make it rain. Not make it rain out like in the clubs or anything like that, but actual rain, like chemical water rain. All right? They do a bunch of tests, spray a bunch of stuff in the desert, and they do. All right? A bunch of clouds start forming, rain starts happening. So they publish this document. Now, some people who are concerned about the people get a hold of and they decide the people need to know so they leak this document out and a bunch of people get a hold of them and they see it for what it really is government spraying chemicals in the air try to throw it all around all right now they immediately come out and say things like you know that's not what we're doing that's not the point of it and you know in the late 90s they release a bunch more documents trying to show what they're originally doing it all dies down for a bit Right? That's W. You can trust W. He's your friend. He's the guy you give lunch money to. And then he pays you back the next day. Alright? Then they're testing that new big aircraft. Right? The, the air... Uh, Airbus, air trolley, air cab, something like that. And this picture gets posted. Of all these big water jugs in the back. No seats. Just big water jugs. Or what they say is water jugs for ballast. But what people actually know is that these are the chemicals. And they needed a new, bigger aircraft to spray these chemicals. And what better way to spray it than to test an aircraft, right? Now, they come out and they say, oh, it's actually water. And this is preposterous. And 2007, some TV stations go out there and test it, and it's just water with other trace elements. But what I think, I think they're letting this chemtrail conspiracy sit to keep people distracted from the truth. And the truth is that pigeons aren't real. No, it's true. Here, give me a second. I'll explain it. <clears throat> I'll make them like those two. In 1914, the last pigeon dies. That's true. Look it up. Look it up. Killed during the war. And there's a period of time where there's just no pigeon. All kill. And then suddenly, there's pigeons everywhere. Rat with rings are in every single city. What it really is, these are government microphones and sensors designed to spy on people. Think about it. Think about it. Remember when Obama and the Dems couldn't come up with a budget, right? And everything all got shut down. Did you see any pigeons? 
Did you see any pigeon staff you? I didn't think so. There were no pigeons when the government shut down. And then when Trump and the Republicans couldn't get their budget because them blocking it, did you see any pigeons? I didn't think so. There were no pigeons. Because the pigeons are actually government censors. Yeah, it's tr true. Look it up. Look, 1914, last one died. Right? And then all of a sudden, pigeons everywhere. And they're just not around. And you see, this quarantine's perfect because now they can replace the batteries, right? Because those batteries don't last forever. You know, they got little nuclear reactors in them. Keep them flying. Keep them going for a long time. You got to swap it out eventually. Right? Now, look it up. Look it up. Ah, right, Stan. I'm really glad we can have this conversation, nephew. I, I really like this.